Tonight, I'm gonna to show you my design for a plywood storage rack. Now this plywood storage rack can be used to store all different sizes of plywood or sheet goods or whatever else you want to put on it. The beauty of it is the simplicity and the way that it's integrated into my garage. My wife still wanted to be able to park in the garage and I just wanted a little sliver in this part of our three car garage. So I designed a plywood storage rack that would swing out when I needed to use it and go back in when I was done. This way it's out of the way for storage, it still keeps everything organized, but I can pull it out when I need to. When I originally built this, the idea was to be able to fit full sheets of plywood and sheet goods on this rack. Now that I've been using it a couple years, I want to add a little section on the side for smaller pieces. This will also give me more space to store full sheets of plywood. One end of this plywood storage rack mounts to the center post in my garage. From that point, it swings out on casters so I can get access to the plywood when I need it. My plan today is to remove everything from the current rack and then build on my extension on the side which will be enough to fit a 4x4 sheet so I can have the larger section and I can have the smaller section. So let's get started. This whole thing can be made out of 2x8s, 2x4s, and hardware you can find at your local big box store. First I got an 8 foot long 2x8 and cut it right in half at 4 feet. This will give me the back of the structure as well as the bottom. These two boards will be screwed together with 4 screws along the bottom edge. I added a few strips of quarter inch plywood along the base because I was realizing that the bottom corner of the plywood could slip out if I wasn't careful. So that helps to keep it all lined up and keep it straight on the 2x8. I'm then cutting this 2x4 to a 45 degree angle on either end because that's going to be the diagonal cross brace which will support the plywood that's sitting in the rack. So I'm gonna fill it up with all the plywood that I have, and then I'm gonna have some extra space, so I'm gonna to have to go buy some more plywood to fill that. Now one thing to keep in mind if you build one of these is that most garage floors are sloped outward. That way any water that accumulates in your garage will drain out the front of your garage instead of going back into your house. This makes it a bit challenging if you try to swing your plywood storage rack all the way 90 degrees out. If you do that, it will bend your hinge. It gets really hard at a certain point and then pretty soon you start looking over your hinge and the pin goes like this. How do I know this? Because I did it by accident one time. I swung it out too far and I was wondering why it was getting so hard to push this and I looked over my hinge and the entire pin was deformed and bent like that. So I had to replace that one. But I now know not to swing it out that far. I haven't made any plans for it at this point because I feel like it's pretty intuitive. But if you're building one and you have some questions, ask in the comments and I'll try to answer them. If you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, make sure to hit subscribe so you can see all the updates that I'm doing of other projects. Now go build something and we'll see you next time.